the risen Jesus gives us a mission. Last time in Matthew chapter 27, we saw Jesus hung on the cross and he died for our sins, to save us from our sins. He was buried in the grave, but he didn't stay in the grave. In Matthew chapter 28, we see that three days later, he rose from the dead. And he defeated death so that in him we too could defeat death. Those of us who put our faith in Jesus can actually be raised to life with him as well. And we can actually live for eternity with Christ. This is really, really good news. Well, after he's risen from the dead, he would appear to his disciples. And if someone rises from the dead and appears to their disciples, it's pretty important for us to see exactly what they said to their disciples in that moment. So let's look in Matthew chapter 28. We're going to start in verse 16. It says, Now the eleven disciples went to, to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Now, remember what Matthew has been showing us all along. Matthew, the whole time, has been showing us that Jesus is this promised Messiah, King, promised Christ, who has come to save his people from their sins. Well, here, let's see their response to him. After he's risen from the grave, they saw him and they worshipped him. Now, in the Bible, there's only one person you worship, and that's God. So this is confirming here who Jesus said he was. He was the Christ. He was the promised king. He was the son of God, equal with God, that he is the second person of the Trinity, God himself, who is worthy of worship. Jesus, in the resurrection from the dead, shows himself to be the son of God, just like he said. And then he says that all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to him. The risen Jesus is the king. He's the Christ. So we serve the Son of God who has all authority over everything. That should give us confidence in the mission that we go on. Out of that authority, he gives a commission. In verse 19, he says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. So he says, go and make disciples. This is the, the focus of it, is make disciples. He's saying, go do what I did with you. Go find people and call them to follow me. Call them to come and know me. He, he's, he's sending his disciples out to go and tell people who Jesus is, that he is the Christ, he is the Son of God. And and and. He's going out to call people who would follow Jesus and who would know this risen Savior. People who would confess like Peter that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. Where? Where are they supposed to go and proclaim this? He says, make disciples of all nations. All nations, everywhere. Not just the Jews, not just this little isolated place that we're in in the Middle East, but all nations. Uh, in Acts, it tells us they, they go uh, from Jerusalem to Judea to uh, S Samaria, all the way to the ends of the earth. And we see the book of Acts as it carries that, uh, that out as they go all the way as far as Rome. And we know that since then, the disciples of Jesus have gone to the very ends of the earth, taking the gospel with them and making disciples. Now, for those of us who trust in Christ, this is our mission. We are called to go and to make disciples, to take this good news of Jesus Christ to those who have never heard it before. Now, that means we're called to take it to our friends. We're called to take it to our neighbors. We're called to take it to our city around us. But we're also called to go further. We're called to go to all nations. And there are billions of people around the world who have never heard this good news about Jesus. There are billions of people around the world who don't have any opportunity right now to respond to this good news because they've never heard it. We are called to go and make disciples of all nations, even those on the other side of the globe. Now, this is a daunting task. And so he leaves them with an incredible promise. At the end of verse 20, he says, Behold, I am with you always 
to the end of the age. As daunting of a task as it is to take the gospel to all nations, we know that Jesus himself, the risen Savior, is with us as we go. Let's go with boldness and carry out this commission, taking the gospel to all nations and making disciples who follow Jesus and make more disciples with their lives.